Uh, I'm on the phone. I'll be right with you. Harold, hi. I'm sorry. Um, uh, uh, up the offer to Yamagoto, please. Make it very generous. Uh, I don't want to lose him. We need him for the company. Uh, yeah. Thanks. All right, let me know. Okay. Oh, Yamagoto, I, um... I like his designs very much. Uh-huh, yeah, so do I. That's why we're going to try to get him. You're working at home, I see, today. Uh, today, yeah, not usually. Today I am. Well, I'm not going to try to take up too much of your time. How are you feeling? Well, you know, considering the weight of this decision being removed, I'm feeling much better. I went for a checkup, and I'm healthy. My baby's healthy. I'm glad to hear it. I didn't come here to discuss my physical well-being, Sophia. I came here because I needed to know something. I need to know why you came to the hospital. Why on earth you tried to stop me from this abortion? Ed, this is asinine. Yes, I know you're the expert. Is it any more inappropriate than you coming to the hospital to talk to me while I was getting ready to have the abortion? I was making a very important decision about my life, and you... you somehow felt compelled to interfere, Sophia, and I have a right to know why. I didn't interfere at all. You made the decision not to do it. That's right. That's right. It was my decision, but there you were. I mean, you were trying to influence the course of my life, and... You know, I'm just not convinced that it was a moral act on your part. Uh, I believe that every woman in your situation has the right to make her own choice. But I'm not every woman. The baby I'm carrying is your ex-husband's. Right. And I couldn't live with myself if you made the decision to abort because of me. We didn't want that hanging over our heads. So, are you finally admitting that you're still in love with Cece? Discussed everything else, and I am carrying the man's child. I have a right to know whether you're going to try to get him back. Say something, Sophia. If you want a denial, I'm not going to give it to you. Well, that's honest. That's fair. Okay, so now what? Do we maintain some sort of pretense of civility? After all, we are in love with the same man. Now look, I just came here to let you know that I have every intention of fighting for him. That's pretty obvious, isn't it? Well, you know, Sophia, why don't you say what's really on your mind? All right, I will. Um, what I really want to know from you is, did you get pregnant? when you saw Cece and I were getting closer. No, you flatter yourself too much. Now, this area is really none of your business, but I will let you in on something. I do take precautions, and I have been responsible. But there was that one night when Cece wanted me. That man was so driven to make love to me that he didn't give me the time that I needed. Now, this baby was not my idea, Sophia. But I'll tell you this, it was conceived in the most profoundly intimate, tender, passionate moment that two people could ever experience together. Cece was very honest and vulnerable to me that night. And he made it very clear that these feelings were solely for me. care for his happiness, which I'm sure you do, you'll step aside. Otherwise, there's going to be a very ugly battle. And I believe you're going to lose. Woman does complicate things. There's no clear-cut villain. And the idea that I tried to put the two of them together. Huh. You can imagine how I feel about that now. You know that he loves you. Oh, come on. She's carrying his child. 
Sophia, a few months ago, that honor was Gina's. It's a whole different situation, a whole different relationship, and you know it. This relationship is built on... Oh. I thank you for coming over, but I can't talk about this anymore. I can't, I don't want to, I, all I've done for the last two days is think about Cece and Santana. I went to sleep last night and I dreamed about them. I can't take it anymore. I've got to get away from it. I know, I'm sorry. I had no intention of aggravating the situation. It's just that when I was growing up, you were there for me, very supportive. And I wanted you to know that I'm available to return the favor. Uh -oh. hmm? That's lovely. If this becomes a battle, my money's on you. 